I'm going to demonstrate um, desoldering the leads on a BMS. Uh, and I'm, I'm using this uh, special tool that I made. Zoom in on the tool. I, I tried a couple different things, including uh, like clamp on soldering tip for the torch, but it wasn't big enough. So, what I've done here is I take a piece of um, a copper bus bar, just cut it and bent it, and hose clamped it to the torch tip. And uh, I tinned the end of it once I got it hot. This this works really well like this works a hundred times better than a torch tip for the propane torch so I'm gonna show you how to desolder the wires this solder is a lead free solder and it's it, it needs a lot of heat like it's higher temperature than regular solder again oh yeah look at that kind of like a snow plow blade perfect and I still got enough heat to do the rest of them with one shot Ooh. yes just wipe the excess off and you got like a beautiful clean uh, circuit board if the holes are big enough if you just get it in there straight you can uh, you can put an 8 gauge wire straight in there I'm gonna get all three of them set in there This is probably why the factory doesn't want to do 8 gauge wire. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. Alright, so I've got all three wires in there. Now I'm going to clamp the wires in my bench vise. So this is a solid core lead solder. And then to start with, I'm actually just going to... I'm going to load the end of the solder up with some uh, some flux, some electronics flux. I get my tool hot again. I'm going to hold the tool against the pad and the wire and I'm going to start feeding this in so that the flux hits the wire and I'm just watching the wire to, to make sure that it's absorbing uh, solder. So I'm going to go back and get some more flux like the whole wire didn't take solder yet. That's nice. So I got the flux to melt and saturate the wire. And it's all it's all nice and soldery. There we go. So I got a nice smooth liquid puddle. Back up that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I 
need a little more heat. Yes, that looks very nice. So, um, first step here is I'm just trying to get the flux to melt and flow into the wire. And then when I touch the solder, it starts flowing into the wire really nice. Now I bring the tool down to the solder pad and add a, a nice thick pool of uh, solder. Eh, that'll do. So, I can open up the vise now. You can see that uh, for some reason on this last one, the solder wanted to kind of drip out the bottom side. And that's okay. At least we know, at least we know there's a lot on there. So unless you, unless you know you have no clean flux, which I don't think this is, your flux is a little corrosive, so you need to rinse it off. I'm just going to use brake cleaner to, to clean it. I'll just clip the tails off of the wires with a regular old side cutter. And uh, I think that's pretty good. This, um, this little burn mark here was from one of my earlier attempts. <laughs> if, if, you, um, if you shut the torch off before you come in, here to, to melt the solder you, you don't burn the board at all so pay no attention to that that's good <laughs> 